You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. What's going on, Strand Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strand Team family, welcome to the Strand Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you got to do is put them at the bottom, and I promise you I'm going to make that video happen. Well, listen, if you made it this far, you're at the end of the week. What we have today is it is a shoulder workout. This shoulder workout is going to really see if you are serious about them gains. It's going to be high volume. It's going to be intense. It's going to be challenging. It's the last day of the week, so we have nothing to save. We're about to have two days of just recovery, and we can start a brand new week next week, but today is the last day, so we got to finish strong. So this is day number five, week number one. We have a killer shoulder workout that is way too much talking, so let's jump straight into this killer shoulder workout. Our first exercise, we have the seated dumbbell side raises. We have six total sets. Listen, I'm telling you, your side delts are about to be more pumped than they have been in a very long time. Your first set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 20 reps. After you finish with that, now you're gonna increase the weight. Now your second set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 15 reps. Every single set, you're gonna progress and you're gonna get heavier and heavier. Now your third set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 12 reps. Now your fourth set, choose a challenging weight for you to get eight reps. Now your fifth set is gonna be a drop set. I want you to choose a challenging weight for you to get six reps immediately. After you get those six reps, Go ahead and drop that weight by like 50%. Now I want you to go right back and get 14 reps. It's going to be 20 total reps, and I promise you it's going to be so humbling, so just testing, just so challenging. But do not stop, strength team, because I believe in you, and I know that you can get it. This is going to see if you are serious about your gains. Now, your sixth and final set, you already know what time it is. It's going to be a double drop set. So what I want you to do is you're going to have three different dumbbells. Your first one, I want you to choose a challenging weight for you to get eight reps. Immediately, after you get your eight reps, lighten the weight up a little bit. Now you're gonna go right back with minimum rest. Now you have 12 reps. I mean 12 pretty reps. Do not sacrifice your form because you are tired. If you are extremely exhausted, go ahead and rest for maybe like 10 extra seconds. That way you can regather your composure and get in there and really get some good quality reps. Now after you get your 12 reps, go ahead and lighten that weight up one more time and go in there strength team and I want you to get 20 reps. This right here was beyond testing. And after you finish with that, we're gonna go ahead and get into our pressing movement. We have the standing dumbbell shoulder press. We have five total sets and I want you to stay between six to eight reps. I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can but at the same time I want you still to control the weight. Like you see we press it up and as we come down we count at least one to two to even three seconds. Every single set that's exactly what I want you to do. Now you're going to get exhausted really fast. I'm not even going to lie to you. Standing up is totally different from sitting down so if you're not used to that make sure you humble yourself real quick because if you don't the weight will humble you. Now your fourth and your fifth set I actually want you to do a push press so what I mean by that instead of being strict when you're coming down I want you to use a little bit of momentum with your legs push it up and go all the way up and contract at the top and then I still want you to count one to two to even three seconds on the way down this right here is going to make sure that you are moving the heaviest weight that you possibly can now after you finish with that you already know what time it is it's time to put some more sweat on your forehead so we got a superset we're going to superset the seated dumbbell front raises with the seated plate front raise this right here is going to have your front delts just ridiculously pumped so for the seated dumbbell front raises we have three total sets and I want you to stay between eight to 10 reps. I want you to go as heavy as you possibly can, but at the same time, do not cheat your form. Like you're seeing in the video, I bring the weight up and I contract at the top. Then I control it on the way down. And then I bring my other arm up and I contract at the top and I control it on the way down. If you cannot do your reps like this, go ahead and lighten the weight up. That way you don't cheat yourself out of gains and also you don't hurt your shoulders. Now, immediately after you get your eight to 10 reps, now you're gonna pick up a plate. Now you have the front raises. With this, I want you to go a little bit lighter because we're gonna do 12 to 15 reps. <laughs> Listen, there is no way that you should be able to do any of these sets continuously. What I mean by this, on my first, second, and third set, I think I had to take like two breaks. So what I'm saying is I get like maybe six reps. Then I'd have to rest for like maybe five to six seconds, then get right back in there and then get maybe like six or seven more reps. And then rest maybe like five or six more seconds and then get right back in there and finish my sets until I got 15 total reps gain certified. Now after you finish with that we're gonna put a little bit of work into our posterior deltoids so we have the rear delt fly machine we have four total sets and we're gonna stay between 12 to 15 reps you already know how it is it's high volume now so that fourth set is going to be a drop set to failure when you're doing this fly machine, the best way to think about it is act like you have a rope in your hands and just pull that rope apart. When you get all the way back, 
kind of just hold it for a half second and think about squeezing your rear delts and then come back in control. Make sure you are controlling the weight, the entire range of motion. I cannot stress how important that is. It's going to keep you from getting injured and it's also just going to keep that tension on your posterior deltoids. Like I said, we have four total sets for 12 to 15 reps. You know I'm big on trying to get these monster arms, so we're going to do a little bit of tricep work. I know you're tired. I know your shoulders are just pumped. I know you're exhausted, but listen, we're only going to do one exercise for our triceps and this is done and you're done for the week and it's time for you to recover. So what we have is we have the heavy tricep push downs. We have four sets and we're going to stay between six to eight reps. You already know how it is though. If we're going heavy, you already know what the last set's going to be. I know you're just like, man, I'm tired of hearing drop sets, double drop sets, triple drop sets, five drop sets. Listen, the fourth set is going to be a double drop set to failure. So I think I had 35 pound plate on there plus 200 pounds. So I did the whole stack and I added 35 pound plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to failure. I think I got maybe like five to six reps. Immediately, I'll take that plate off and I'll get right back in there and I'll go to repping. So I'm going as many reps as I possibly can. I'm not even counting reps now. Once I start feeling that burn, I try to do at least two to three to even four more. Immediately, once I reach failure, I'm going to drop that weight again. Strength team, I get right back in there and I get to pumping. Like you see, I'm not cheating. I'm making sure I'm pressing down, squeezing my triceps, and I'm also controlling the weight on the way back up. And immediately, after I reach failure one more time, I'm going to lighten the weight up one more time and get right back in there and take this set to failure game certified. And that's it. Listen, it's over. It's the first week over. If you made it this far, I want to give you a major your salute. Week two is going to be hard. Week three is going to be even more hard. And week four, I'm going to test you. I'm going to really see if you are serious about them games. But like I tell you in every single video, also have a good weekend too. Like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, all I want you to do, all I want you to do is keep getting them games. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream.